Nobody pushes around the United States of America. Nobody leads us around by a nose ring and says, no, you, you, get, you have to stay in this pen. I, I think the reserve status is, is toast. So I'm here with one of my uh, supporters and uh, uh, subscribers, I think, right, to my channel? Actually, not yet. Oh, but you don't subscribe. Not oh, yet. But you listen. Of course. Oh, man. I wonder how many people out there are watching the videos and haven't subscribed. Anyway, you're going to be buying some silver, right, man? <laughs> yeah. That's not some silver. That is insane. You're getting an entire 100 ounce bar from the Royal Canadian Mint. He probably mm. doesn't want to tell you how many he actually has at this point. Are you serious? Sure? <laughs> okay, you don't have to tell me. I'm it's keeping classified. you It's classified. Okay. I've been uh, using the trust account that I have to make these purchases. Good for you. Well, why, why are you stacking? Because I recognize that uh, with the amount of uh, currency creation that is going on, our money is literally becoming worthless and uh, um, things are still going on the way they are but uh, those days are going to end and uh, I want to be ready. Can I touch it? Absolutely. <laughs> this thing is great guys. Be careful not to drop it. Look at that. Wow. That is one beefy chunk of silver. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> so, so tell me about your feelings towards what's going on in Afghanistan right now, Tim. Uh, it's it's hard to be calm discussing in Afghanistan. And this, you know, after listening to Trump's plan, which seemed to make a lot of sense, um, he said he didn't care if it was a small town or or a, a northern city or anything. If the Taliban got in his way, there would be an immediate response, and he said it would be a devastating response. Um, why they closed down the Bagram Air Force Base and um, abandoned all that equipment and didn't tell the Afghan army that, didn't tell our allies that, you know, the NATO allies. I mean, it, there were other countries involved. And, you know, the Bagram was in use by everybody. Um, but then to just walk away in the middle of the night, I just, I don't get it. Uh, I don't know who, who comes up with a plan like that, unless it was, you know, the Taliban themselves. But the, you, know, you look at the map, the spots where the Taliban was and mm -hmm. that, how it fills in the whole country in a matter of days. I mean, still no response. And then they, they say, oh, well, well they're going to let us get, get all Americans out. I mean, why are the Taliban, why are they calling the shots? I don't get it. I mean, this is, you know, Nobody pushes around the United States of America. Nobody leads us around by a nose ring and says, no, you, you, get, you have to stay in this pen, you know, and be, shut up and be quiet. You know, whatever, you know, you know don't, whatever you don't, let your soldiers out of this pen. I don't get it. it it's, it's very discouraging. And, and you know, he, I know he's put a bunch of fools in the Pentagon. And we, we heard about you know, General Milley being more concerned about uh, the, the troops being woke than um, learning how to fight wars. Uh, but the, the, why have military? Why have a military at all if they're not taught how to fight? And that's what's important. When I was in the military, if there were two people who weren't getting along, uh, maybe of opposite colors, um, well, Jill Sergeant, would he be in their face saying, you may hate him and he may hate you, but when you're over in Vietnam, you may need him to drag your ass out of there. And he may need you to drag his ass out of there. So you guys get together, you're partners now. I want you to, by tomorrow, I want you to know everything there is to know about him and you need to know everything to know about him. And if you don't, if you can't answer some simple questions about him, you'll be sharing the same bunk until you do. And that's that's the way it was. I mean, if in wartime, 
You have to rely on everybody. You don't need to be woke. You don't need to know somebody's version of history. You need to learn how to fight and learn how to get along while you're fighting. And I don't think there's there have been a, a platoon of Marines anywhere in the world where they don't abide by that. I, I don't get it. I don't see why somebody in the Pentagon would say, Mr. President, that's not a great idea. You know? Maybe they did. Maybe he didn't listen. Um, he is the commander in chief. What he's done is treasonous. And, uh, you know, as a uh, Colonel Kemp, who's a British colonel, uh, who had been in Afghanistan for years and years and years, he was also in, in, in Taliban intelligence. He said, well, there are people in Washington who want to impeach this president. He said, I don't agree with that. He shouldn't be impeached. He should be court-martialed. He's the commander in chief. He commands the military. What he's done is treasonous. What do you think this uh, was going to do economically? Good question. Uh, because it seems like everybody in New York City is on the same page. Um, the Dow is at levels it's never been at. Um, gold and silver don't seem to be gathering any steam. Um, our allies now hate us around the world. Uh, we've broken every promise we ever made to anybody. Um, if you're living in Taiwan, you know, use the analogy of where is Waldo? Well, all those people in the scene are the Chinese military and Waldo is Taiwan, right in the middle of it. They are in big trouble. They All last week they had low level flyovers with no response from anybody. Uh, this is, you know, Chinese were, were flying jets over Taiwan with no response. And, you know, I hear some soldiers say that they need to beef up their delivery of, you know, sophisticated uh, defensive machinery. Well, you're talking China against Taiwan. It's it's no contest. You know, it's it's the uh, the Yankees against the Little League. It's, it's just it's no contest. Uh, you know, and that's not it. That's not. I mean, North Korea is going to be emboldened. You know, mm -hmm. they may be pushing that uh, that border. That where they have what thirty thousand troops are armed on the border. I mean, every country in the world. Look at, you know, the Chinese have designs on all of Southeast Asia, um, and and they're sitting there laughing at us. It's been fifty years since we uh, pulled a fast one on our uh, our allies on the world, really, with uh, closing the gold window, and ever since we've been using our monetary might as a weapon around the world yeah and at some point and we've been seeing it with china and russia and others they've been pulling back from that uh monetary standard trying to have their own yeah. and i think at this point a hot war could could ensue i i think the reserve status is is toast uh the, the only problem with taking it away from the dollar there's not another strong currency in the world I mean, every other currency has been reset at some time. Every other currency is a, literally a phony currency. And, you know, the euro was put together with all these countries that were drowning in debt, and they have no provision in their the constitution to pay down their debt. Yeah. You know, only the ECB can issue bonds, and nobody wants to buy those bonds. I, you know, I, I, and at some point, no one's going to want to buy our IOUs. Well, because. it's true. I mean, the only the only thing they can do at this point is leap to a digital currency yep. or a digital reserve currency. And I think they'll try to separate the two. I think they'll try to leave everybody's currency intact, but uh, have their reserve currency a basket of other other things. It accelerated the evacuation mm -hmm. of soldiers now, which really concerns me because there are uh, there are more than a thousand probably less than four or 5,000 Americans still there. Mm -hmm. And um, what are we gonna do, rely on the Taliban to kick them out or put them on a plane? Yeah. It's, it's, it's just the whole situation is just horrible. Right. It is. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> not to start ranting again. <laughs>